back to my channel and welcome to another vlogmas episode so today it's actually the day before thanksgiving and i am going to be making one of our family recipes a broccoli casserole i don't know if other people make this or not i've never seen it anywhere else i've gone it's something that my family has been making since i was born and it's one of my favorite thanksgiving dishes so i'm gonna be making it for you guys today and for myself and i'm going to lay it all out there i will link the recipe down below in the description as well and i hope you all are having a safe and happy holiday season and without further ado let's get into it okay so i have my handy dandy ooh, the light is recipes book here where i have this recipe at it's a really easy dish to make. It does take about 20 to 25 minutes, which is not bad at all. But what you'll so need. So I have my handy dandy recipes book. Here. Two 10 ounce bags. bags. I have um, broccoli. Recipes. These ones are 12 ounces, so, but it, yes. it's a really a little easy more dish to make. It does take so, about 20 to 25 minutes, which is not Two ounces of that, bad at all. an onion, chopped, but what you'll chop need. Up. I still also have to cook the broccoli. Too. Two one, 10 ounce one cans of broccoli. Cream of These ones are 12 soup. ounces, but and I will tell y'all, don't a little more because I don't like mushrooms. So I'm gonna pull the comments now. Two ounces of that. An onion chopped, they still have to chop. One that. cup of I still mayonnaise. also have to cook the broccoli too. You need one, one package, one can of it says of Arnold's cream of stuffing crumbs. Soup. But and I will tell y'all I'm gonna don't use these gluten, but I don't like mushrooms. So I'm typically if I don't um, if I'm not um, really using these ones, I'm going to use like Pepperidge Farm or something like that. But one cup any of mayonnaise, breadcrumb can really work. You need one matter. package So I'm using uh, the gluten free Arnold's ones to make it gluten stuffing candy. crumbs. And then you also need one pack of cheddar cheese. You can get the shredded version already if it's up, it's easier, but we have the block, so I'm just going to shred this myself. Um, and then you do need two eggs. And also one stick of butter or margarine. And then, of course, a casserole dish. So, let's get to put it all together. So the first things I'm going to do is, these are both steam in bag bags. <laughs> so I'm going to put them in the microwave, cook them up, and then I'm going to chop my onion, because these two items are going to be the first things that go into our casserole bowl. All right, so my broccoli has been steamed, both bags have. I put them in the microwave for about five minutes, um, and then I just cut the corner of both bags so I could drain out the excess water. Don't worry about them being like fully cooked through because it still has to go in the oven, so it's gonna get cooked through all the way. So just, I typically put it in the microwave for about five minutes until it kind of gets warm. And if it's some parts still feel a little cold, it's it's fine as long as it's not like frozen, frozen, you're good. So I chopped up my onion. So now we're gonna put both of these together into our casserole dish. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my broccoli. If you want to, you can chop some of the bigger pieces up, which actually I probably will do. Make sure you wash your hands before you start touching food also. Side note. dish to the side you want to get a medium-sized bowl because now we're going to mix the mayo the mayonnaise the two eggs and the cream of mushroom soup all together
all the mixture is mixed so now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to add it to our broccoli and onion casserole dish so it'll just go on top of it and then I'm going to grate the cheese over that and then um, actually right now I'm also going to turn on my oven because it takes a while to preheat so I'm gonna put it on for I'm gonna put it on at 325 okay My casserole I'm gonna set this aside once again not for very long this time and then I'm going to grab another little bowl okay I'm switching bowls I'm gonna put it in this glass bowl instead we're gonna put the whole stick of butter in there we're gonna melt that and then we're gonna put our gluten-free breadcrumbs in here toss them so they're coated with the butter and then this is gonna go on top of the casserole all right so my butter has been melted now let's try this out. that is how I make our family recipe broccoli casserole we have it usually well we have it at Thanksgiving but I also do like to make it for Christmas because I love it so much but thank you so much for watching this vlog stay tuned because there are gonna be more daily vlogs every day up until Christmas if you liked it if you want to you know hang out with me up until Christmas definitely hit the subscribe button don't forget to like comment say hello let me know what is your favorite thanksgiving food or holiday dish down in the comments and i will catch you guys on the next vlog